Thousands of AFL fans have descended on Shanghai for Port Adelaide's historic match against the Gold Coast Suns on Sunday. But sports promoters say the AFL is facing huge cultural barriers and fierce competition from other sports. China correspondent Bill Bertels joins us now live from Shanghai. Bill, how much local interest is there in the match? Well, right now I'm, I'm at the Camel Bar, which is pretty much the headquarters for Port Adelaide fans while they're over here this weekend. So in this particular place, there's a huge amount of interest. But among the Chinese media, to be honest, there hasn't been a great deal of reporting in the Chinese press or on Chinese television about this game. However, Port Adelaide today said they're very enthusiastic to see that their Chinese sponsors are helping to get three or 4,000 Chinese fans to the Jungwan Stadium on Sunday to watch the match. So they're very hopeful that even though at the moment most Chinese people don't even know what this game is, perhaps after they see it on Sunday uh, they'll get a, an appreciation of it and they may begin to slowly build a fan base here. And Bill, how are the players adapting to the experience so far? The players seem to be having a very good time over here. Both uh, Port Adelaide and the Gold Coast Suns have trained on the pitch at Jungwan Stadium. Now today it's been a very rainy day and uh, one of the concerns was that the pitch may be a bit soggy underfoot. But I was speaking to Gold Coast Suns players uh, who, who uh, spoke to the media this afternoon and they said, look, it's a bit soggy, but generally speaking the pitch is almost as good as the MCG. So uh, a lot of the concerns that people had about coming over here seem to have been allayed. And uh, now they say that their mind and their focus is on getting the job done on Sunday. The heavens have opened ahead of Sunday's match, but that's not dampening enthusiasm. The players, staff and most of the travelling fans are now in China's biggest city. We had a really good training session this morning as well and the, and the mood was really bubbly and, and vibey. The AFL has confirmed the match will be broadcast live on Chinese TV. And while there's little coverage of it in local media, Port Adelaide says it's playing a long game. We've got the greatest game in the world, so why don't we showcase it? Port Adelaide says it's brought in millions of dollars of new sponsorship due to its efforts here. It's also bringing the game to kids in 14 selected schools. But locals question whether a sport they've never even heard of can really gain a foothold here. Franklin still a big shot. I don't really understand this sport. There isn't a lot of rugby in China, and only a few people want to watch it. If this sport isn't on TV much, how is it supposed to spread? We don't understand the rules. Uh, kids, uh, teenagers are not encouraged to participate in too many physical activities. Of course, the the overall picture is changing, but it takes a long, long time. Three to four thousand Chinese fans are expected to be among the eleven thousand watching Sunday's match. Whether they take to Aussie rules or not, there's no doubt the players will have plenty of support. So, what will you be chanting on Sunday? <laughs> Go the Suns. Go <laughs> Bill Bertels, ABC News, Shanghai.